so I have a little baby porcupine over here. It's early spring in Canada, and life is just beginning to emerge from underneath the leaves and in the trees. Sometimes it's difficult to find subjects to photograph, but if you look for clues and signs, perhaps you can find something. Here we have a uh, porcupine den. Now, as you can tell, there's lots of scat laying here. Now, what I'm guessing is happening here is the porcupine lives at the top of this tree, and as it defecates, the, the scat just falls down here to the bottom and just pours out. It's kind of like a gumball machine, except you wouldn't eat these ones. Um, something I've always wanted to do is look up in one of these dens, but I've always been afraid of maybe the porcupine falling on my face or maybe uh, a red squirrel attacking me or something like that. So um, I'm going to have a peek in here this time. I'm, I'm, I'm brave today. So, uh, doesn't smell good. Nothing fell on me. And I don't think I can get my head all the way in there, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but uh, this is a good start. You can you can see there's actually hair on here which I'm guessing is from the porcupine. They have some hair, not just quills, they also have hair on them as well. And uh, I'm guessing that's what that's from. And if you look through here you'll find quills in here. So here's a quill right here. Look at that. There's a quill from a porcupine. And uh, these quills, they have barbs on them. And you know what? You can't barely feel the barbs, but yet if you get this in your finger, they're very hard to get out or dogs get in their face when they start messing around with them. But uh, so this is, uh, this is a great place to start. Now we're going to start circling out here, start looking in the area for some of these, see if there's a porcupine in here. I'm sure there's one. Um, best place to look for porcupines are in their favorite trees, which would be like a fir, cedar, and hemlock. Um, they eat the inner bark of these trees. Uh, they also eat, especially in the springtime, they really like the maples. Spring maples is their favorite food. Also poplar and uh, alder is another one. Um, so that's what to look for. You know, typically you find them pretty high in the trees. Um, so when you're walking around, you have to look up all the time. And that's hard to do, especially when you have to look down, make sure you're not tripping over something, especially you got all your camera gear in your hands. So, um, we're going to go have a look around here, see what we can find. Okay, here you can tell that the porcupine's been chewing on this bark. This is a spring maple, and it is still wet. You can, you can see the sap coming off of this. And it's sweet. So this is, this obviously there's a porcupine in the area. And, uh, and I would expect that he's probably within probably a quarter of a kilometer of here right now. So we just have to look up in these trees. So I have a little baby porcupine over here, and they call a baby porcupine a porcupet. And uh, its mother is 
up in the tree over here. And uh, it's just just kind of hanging out. It's not eating. It's just probably just um, just waiting for its mom to come down and feed it. Now, the reason why I'm using, I can walk right up to that baby porcupine. He's not going to move. But I want him to act natural. And to photograph any creature and get it to act natural, you want to be, you want to stay away from it. So I'm using a 500 millimeter lens. I would be completely okay with using a 70 to 200 for my 70 to 200 lens for this. But uh, I prefer to use a 500 here because I want to stay back and let this little creature do what it does. And I'm going to lay here and I'm going to wait for it to maybe, maybe move a bit and give me the right angle or maybe try to crawl out this little tree here. I don't know what it's going to do, but you know, patience is what, what matters here. So that's, that's the plan. So I'm going to lay here for a bit. I think I'm done. I think we're gonna leave this little animal for a while. Um, it's the sun's starting to come out. You know, it's getting a little bright. There's some clouds and some blue sky. And when that sun clears the clouds, it's, there's a lot of light reflecting off the leaves. And I don't like it. So, uh, and plus, you know what? Uh, a little porcupine like this has to be fed every couple of hours, I think. And so uh, we're gonna leave this one alone and let its mom come down and feed it. And uh, maybe I'll come back another day, or maybe I won't. We'll see what type of images I got out of this.